what's up guys how are you doing good morning i hope you had a beautiful and wonderful night sleep all right um i have a, a breaking news here for you um from my screen you can see big tension how violence erupted in kano after ganduja's victory as furious youth takes over roads and streets before i start this news if this is your first time here i'm asking nothing from you but just your support by clicking on that red subscribe button just support me i am begging you if you can see me right now i am on my knees begging for subscribers it's so funny right but please just support me by clicking on that red subscribe button just to encourage me to keep bringing news and breaking news about politics celebrities for you guys all right um you can see the youth here with their weapon on the street okay so somebody may be wondering why the anger or um, after Ganduja's victory why will there be um, violence okay so it's a, it's a thing that we all don't know all right but let's see the news and what happened so the governorship election in kano state has been concluded by the electoral umpire and the result declared which saw the incumbent governor Uma Gandu just return elected so the announcement of the result of the election in the state changes things okay so according to Tribune Online, violence erupted in the ancient city of Kano following the declaration of winner in the supplementary election held on Saturday in the state. So the INEC had on Sunday night announced the incumbent governor Abdullahi Umar Ganduje as the winner of the election in Kano State, thereby returning him to a second term in office. But however, violence broke out in the state Sunday night as a grief people turned out in large number and were desperate to force their ways into the state and in coffees. But for the timely intervention of the police officers who fired tear gas to dispel people who had positioned themselves in places around the state, around the state INEC office. So you can see they are grieved on my picture right here okay so um the situation had become worse and after professor bello balashe who the returning officer of INEC, declared the governorship candidate of apc abdullahi maganduja as the winner of the election or uh, the tegas fired by the police to prevent the irate youth from gaining entrance into the state INEC office made even the journalist election observers and order to run for safety okay but however Phila said the youth had taken over most of the major roads in Kano state a situation which had created fear and tension in the state as many residents of Sabongari an area very close to an office were forced indoors to avoid being attacked as of the time of this report, it was not easy for journalists, observers, and large number of people to leave the INEC office to their respective destinations, um, while many people may be forced to pass the night at the INEC office to avoid being attacked. So the INEC had declared the incumbent governor of the state um, of, and the candidate of the APC, Dr. Abdullahi Ganduja, as winner of the just concluded governorship rerun election in the state all right so declaring the winner of the election the governorship coalition officer in Kano said that APC candidate gained about 1 million and 33 1 million and 33,695 votes while that of the PDP um, gained 1 million 24,000 some hundred and thirteen vote. I mean that was that was kind of close, you know. But this figure, 
I really think that is the real reason why the PDP PDP have rejected the results. Um, yeah, because um the closeness day um is so kind of suspicious that somebody would think uh, PDP actually think the people of Kano State they didn't want um Ganduje anymore. So they are heading to tribunal to see if they will be able to you know make some um, effort to reclaim back the mandate all right so so far so good the youth of Kano state um have rejected from the moves here um they have rejected um kandu j all right because what seems to should have been a celebration throughout the city um, have turned out to be violence uh, maybe this is not what they really expected all right um, from from what we are seeing here from the news so far the the, the election results uh, do not reflect the will of the people um, that is my own analysis the my own point of view here but if you guys think you may think otherwise i'm not trying to be i'm not uh, affiliated to any political party but looking at the reaction of the youths here all right um i i think the election results do not reflect um what the youth or the resident of kano state really want Remember, the election was declared inconclusive because while the election was still um, in collation, um, um, the, the, the INEC returning officer, when the collation center had a call from, I think, Nasarawa, that the returning officer, um, the INEC office in Nasarawa was being attacked and they, they will not be able to bring the result from um, Nasarawa, okay? So that was why the election was declared inconclusive, and later on, um, it was fixed for a rerun. So during that period, um, a, a lot of people, in short, I, I saw Ganduji as being kind of desperate. Okay, he was very desperate to retain that office. Well, it could be for some reason, but I really, uh, but to hang on to power is what this our uh, politician does. Okay, nobody wants to looking at the allowances of um, governors senators and so on men believe me nobody everybody will do everything humanly possible to go to that seat to retain that seat and so on okay so from what i'm seeing here i i really think the election result um do not reflect the will of the people but if otherwise you can also drop your contribution on the comment section below irrespective of any political party i'm only trying to see from the news what um what is happening all right um i, I believe the people of kano state ever since um their governor had this case of um uh, the video that emerges where uh, ganduje received money from contractors okay um those dollar video that at the end of the day they said it was a doctored video and um stuff like that but in nigeria that's what we get to see i really don't know how a live video a live camera video um later on become doctor so a lot of group were uh, asking the federal government the president to probe this incident okay but so far i think it will not be kind of possible because immunity covers him so efcc cannot go after um gandu j um Bari cannot go after gandu j and he's still remaining innocent until proven guilty that was what Bari said because a lot of people were criticizing Bari as calling as um saying that gandu j is a man of integrity after the video images on the internet all right so people were saying i fight the like, body if you are fighting corruption you should not be endorsing this man even when you saw the video on the media so the people of kano state were kind of angry with that um, video that images on the internet okay um so that uh, that's just what is reflecting here people of kano state i think they, they really didn't expect ganduje to win but 
looking at the result okay looking at this result you know Kano state remember Ganduja says um he's gonna give Bari five million vote but looking at this result the margin uh where the pdp um becomes second in this result it's so close that it has um so there's something fishy there that's what i'm looking because if the people of Kano state is really for Ganduja, the margin should have been wide the margin should have been wider than this because looking at this result here okay um the apc scored one million thirty three thousand six hundred and ninety five votes okay while the pdp scored one million twenty four thousand you can see the margin is so close um so something it's kind of really fishy here i'm not saying i'm only speculating so i'm not i make um coalition officer or returning officer but I think this the closeness of this margin should really um, cause for a red flag okay but I'm just saying Shah, but if you have anything contrary to this you can also put it down on the comment section below let, let us brainstorm together not insult all right so that is on um, the news so far so good the youth of Kano State um, uh, is not happy they have started making some trouble, saying they didn't want Ganduje to return. Why will the INEC declare him winner of the election? Something like that. All right, guys. Um, if you have anything to contribute based on the news here or what I'm just saying, contrary is my own personal opinion. So you may also have your own personal opinion. You can put it down in the comment section below. Okay, peace. I am out. I will see you in the next video.